Hello again everybody, it's me, Marcus, and I review stuff. Today I'm reviewing the song, uh, Trigger Warning. Trigger Warning, featuring Johnny Frank by Sunrise Skater Kids. I can, I have a feeling I might already know what this song's about, <laughs> just based on the title alone. Uh, but this does come as a request, so as always, if you would like to request something, please leave a comment down below, and I'll be sure to get to it eventually. I'm going through all of my older requests, this is a request from a while back, so uh, finally getting to it. So thank you to whoever requested this one. We'll check it out. I've never heard anything from this band before, so this is a totally blind review. No idea what to expect, but let's give it a listen. Again, this is Trigger Warning, featuring Johnny Frank, Sunrise Skater Kids. I forgot to rewind it all the way back. Here we go. That was that was a fun one. I, I, you know, I didn't know what to expect, but that was a lot of fun. Um, you know, I may not agree with every single thing that was said in the video, but hell, I can admit when I had fun listening to a song, and this one was a lot of fun for me. Um, so yeah, really happy for this one. I just love the like really poppy. Uh, it reminds me of like the early two thousands kind of pop punk sort of um, rock music that you had. Um, and then I was not expecting that like heavy metal transition all of a sudden. That was hilarious. So to me, this definitely seems like it's a uh, like a parody band or like um, a satire band, a comedy band, if you will. 
Um, I, don't, I don't know. I don't necessarily think this is meant to be taken like super seriously. It's meant to, you know, give you a laugh, which is amazing because I, I feel like I was laughing throughout. It was a pretty funny song. Um, I, I really enjoyed it. So I, I'm really excited to break down the lyrics and talk about this song. Let's start with those lyrics. Let's bring them up. So again, started out super poppy. Uh, you know, la 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 la, super poppy. Um, and then hanging with my pals, no care in the world. We're making memories, but then I see this girl. I ask her on a date. She tells me that sounds good. I'm going to make her night because I'm a classy dude. Already, I was like, that's that's funny. I like that. Um, I forgot to read the little information they have here. Trigger Warning is the sixth track from Friendville, the debut the debut album of Jared Alonge, Alonge's, I don't know, comedy, pop, punk, easy core band, Sunrise Skater Kids. The song makes fun of the SJW culture that is usually found on the blogging site Tumblr and is frequently ridiculed throughout internet culture. The track features guest vocals by Johnny Frank of Attack Attack. I don't think I've ever listened to Attack Attack, but okay. Uh, anyway, let's continue those lyrics. So, she said, do you have what it takes to be a feminist? I said, sure, let me join you on your quest for social justice. What could go wrong in the sun? I've never felt so happy with my friends. There's always joy around me. All good vibes, no bad ones in the first place. Never ever gonna leave my safe space. So, like, at first it really does kind of sound like a generic pop punk uh, sort of song where you're just like, oh, I'm having fun, hanging out with the dudes, you know, what have you. Um, and in many ways, <laughs> it holds up to that. Like, if you're not really paying attention, it's like, okay, yeah, you know, I'm having a good time here. Couple weeks go by, she's always super pissed. She doesn't think the same as a normal feminist. I start to learn a lot of uh, a, a lot about all these new things. Men deserve to die because of the patriarchy. So you know, th th this is meant to be taken, you know, as a joke. You know, I, I think comedy in many ways um, pushes boundaries, and, and so obviously this is edgy for the sake of like you know making you laugh. Um, but there's there's uh, like small nuggets of truth here and there. I think where you see here, she doesn't think the same as a normal feminist. You know, I, I know, let's get like real for a second. You know, the right wing in our country has done a great job of kind of discrediting this the feminist movement. Uh, I, I've mentioned before I consider myself a feminist. Um, but at the same time, I do understand that there are extremists on either side. And so there are these, you know, it's like extreme radical feminists who some of them, you know, do believe that men deserve to die. <laughs> because of patriarchy, and, you know, and, and, but that's a small fringe group, but, you know, these sort of grifters that appear uh, on the news and, and what have you will make you think that that's what the entire movement stands for, so, you know, feminism gets this really bad rap of being this sort of toxic thing, uh, this anti-man, anti-family sort of thing, you know, you hear all the time, just tune into Fox News, you know, but um, really at its core, feminism is about equality, and so, you know, a lot of people say, like, oh, I'm not a feminist, I believe in equality. Well, that's actually what feminism is at its roots. Um, but, you know, our country has done a great job of kind of twisting that. So, uh, like I said, there's a nugget of truth here, though. He says she doesn't think the same as a normal feminist. So I, I think he's kind of admitting or saying, like, feminism's a good thing. And, like, it's, it's sort of like uh, a normal, I guess, normal feminist isn't like, hey, let's go kill all the men. But this one doesn't think like a normal feminist. She's one of the more radical extremists on that side. So, um, again, a nugget of truth to this really funny song. So, um, I said, this sounds far-fetched, but I guess I'll do as you say. She said, scum, how dare you doubt my logic in any way? Um, I guess she's right in the sun. I've never felt so happy with my friends. There's always joy around me. All good vibes, no bad ones in the first place. Uh, never ever gonna leave my safe space. Um, walking down the street, I look right right at this girl. She's pretty freaking hot. Let's make sure that she knows. And then he, you know, whistles. Um, what did you just say? It, it was a whistle. Did you just oppress my girlfriend right in front of me? Chill out. I was just, you cisgendered, hyper-privileged bigot. What are you doing? No, please, please help me. This is the end of you. <laughs> and when he says bigot and it flipped over to that, like, heavy metal section, I, I lost it. That was, that was hilarious. Um, rotten hell, you kink shaming classist, choke on your words and throw yourself into a burning furnace, uh, perpetuation of the cishead supremacy, you male normative, closed minded rapist, go play in traffic. Look, man, take it easy. Man, did you just assume my gender? Oh, God, please, watch your microaggressions. I have been triggered. Blech. Uh, so, you know, it's poking fun at, at this sort of, again, this SJW culture. Um, 
I'm going to keep reading this last part. Uh, de deluded, chauvinistic, misgendering, middle-class, binary, normative, uh, cross-dresser, stigmatizing, homophobic, thin-privileged, rape culture sympathizing, hyper-masculine, kyriarchist? I don't actually know that word. That's the first word I've come across that I don't know. Uh, acknowledge the foxkin. Um, in conclusion, I hope you die alone. What do those words mean? All right, where were we? <laughs> so again, it, as as the little tidbit of information I read said, you know, it's making fun of this SJW culture that you see on sites like Tumblr. As someone who has been on Tumblr for like more than a decade, I can say I've, I've seen you know I've seen that a couple of times. It's definitely not the whole site though. I, I think Tumblr gets a bad rap uh, because of again extremists. Uh, who who will kind of go off on someone who who may simply just be you know misguided or or just be ignorant to the current information, but they, they will just go off. Um, but again, it, to to me, as far as like my Tumblr experience has been, it's few and far between. But it's still funny to read. Um, and I will say like, it, it, you know, SJW liberals, whatever, they get a bad rap for being triggered easily, but. Uh, in the news, you've seen stuff like um, people saying like, "Oh, Rage Against the Machine." When they get so political, I can't believe it. When they bring politics into this, oh, I can't watch sports anymore because uh, you know it's all about politics. Oh, I can't bring my Confederate flag to a NAS to the NASCAR races anymore. Man, this is some bullshit. Oh, they're tearing down our conser our uh, uh, Confederate statues. What are we ever gonna do? You know, it's, uh, so it's like it, it's on both sides. And the thing is, you know, I typically see more people talking about how people are triggered than I actually ever see people being triggered. Does that make sense? So, like, I, I see that whole... I, I, I thought of it especially when he said, did you just assume my gender? I see more jokes about that than I've ever seen someone get offended by that. You know, I, I don't think I've ever seen anyone online get, like, just in my personal interactions. I, I, and I'm on, I'm on Tumblr. I'm on Reddit. I'm on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. I'm everywhere. So, like, I've never seen anyone in my personal, like, um interactions on the internet uh, be i guess triggered because someone assumed their gender but i've seen a million jokes about being triggered because someone assumed your gender you know what i mean so it's like uh it's one of those things where more people claim that they know someone who's offended than than someone actually being offended it's the same with like the starbucks cups you know every year starbucks releases a cup for christmas or whatever and people are apparently people get triggered by it because it's anti-christ or whatever i don't know uh, but again, I've I've never seen anyone in my personal like uh, interactions on the internet actually be offended by a Starbucks cup. Yet I see so many stories about people being offended by Starbucks cups. I think it's just this kind of a uh, weird feedback loop that you get with like current media, where it's like, oh, I I saw one person get offended over this, so now the entire like movement or the entire website is is um, uh, categorized by this one particular person getting offended. You know, it, it's very rare that I really see people getting offended over little stuff like this. Whether it be a left issue or a right issue, it doesn't matter. Like, I, I really don't see very many people, be, people getting offended over kind of the little things. But, again, this is just a comedy song. I feel like, you know, I, I don't think they necessarily mean everything that they say in the song. I, again, I think it is more just for fun, poking fun, kind of playing into no norms and stuff like that. Yeah, I, I could see just knowing, like... <laughs> Just knowing, like, right-wing um, conservatives could kind of take this and make it an anthem for themselves. I don't think that's what the band intends. Kind of like uh, right-wingers claim to love Rage Against the Machine. It's it, it's definitely a weird thing, but uh, I don't see it as that. You know, I don't. I definitely don't see this song as being like a right-wing anthem, if you will. So, I don't know. I could be wrong. Uh, anyway, in the sun, I've never felt so happy with my friends. There's always joy around me. All good vibes. No bad ones in the first place. Never going to leave my safe space. La 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 la. Cool. You know, it was a fun song. I think the lyrics, uh, they're, they're going to date themselves in a while. You know, I, I think as we continue to actually progress. And the thing is, SJW is great. Like, who doesn't want more social justice? So it's like, as social justice continues to evolve and, and develop, I think um, that this song will kind of age itself just because it is a product of its time. I feel like you have to live. This came out in 2016. I feel like you have to live within the last decade at least to really understand um, where the song is coming from. So I, I will say that I think the lyrics will probably date themselves after a while. But um, other than that, it was just a fun song. Uh, I really love the, the tempo. Um, just the lyrics were, were, were fun. I mean, even, again, even if I don't agree with everything that was said in the song, I can admit and acknowledge that, hey, it was just kind of a fun listen. Um, and the lyrics just made it really fun and wacky. And I give it two thumbs up. Um, as far as the instrumentation goes, you know, it was a pretty standard, like, pop-punk song. I think that was on purpose. I think it was, 
intentionally really generic and had that really poppy feel uh, to, to make it funnier, to make it sort of uh, stick with you and, and to really stand out. But then it jumped into that heavy metal section. That was so much fun. You got some double bass, heavy guitars, the screaming. I, I was really impressed. Um, so... Uh, you, you know, again, it, it, it's definitely going to be dated. This is not a style of music that I feel like will live on forever, uh, necessarily. But I think it was still a lot of fun. I'm still going to give it two thumbs up. As far as replay value goes, you know, like I said, it was kind of fun. But I don't know if I'm going to listen to this one very much. Just because yeah, it is a little generic in some parts. And, and uh, you know, sometimes I don't always listen to music for a laugh. You know, I don't really listen to much comedy music. I don't really listen to, like, Weird Al or anything like that. So... Um, you know, for me, comedy music is kind of, eh, not so much my jam. Like, it, it's fun to listen to maybe in the moment or when it comes on every now and then. But as far as an everyday listen, I don't know if, if this is going to be it for me. So I'll give it just one thumb up for replay value. I think it's fine. And it's not any really fault of the musicians at all. It's just sort of the um, the way that I feel about music and, and how I interact with it. But um, other than that, guys, it was a really enjoyable song. Thank you so much for the request. I had a fun time. I, I laughed. That's always good. Um, so, as always, if you would like to request something, please leave a comment down below. Um, if these guys are on Spotify, I will definitely put them in my Spotify playlist. It's in the description below. It has every single song I've listened to so far on my channel. I think last time I checked it, it had about 16 hours of music on it. So, a lot of music for you guys. Um, if you want to support me, just all the normal stuff you do on YouTube, like and subscribe and comment. Thank you so much. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye for now.